with piano but when we moved to a new house uh no i mean like lately uh, i think keyboard is a lot easier and piano is like the complex version of keyboard so yeah, i choose keyboard um uh, i've been uh, i started playing piano uh, when i was on third grade and i'm on my eighth grade now so it's like five or four years yeah uh and but i didn't all of that five years i didn't finish keyboard no i mean piano because I have to switch to keyboard, so I've been playing keyboard for two years. Uh, that means three years of piano and two years of keyboard. I'm not going to be playing a song. I'm going to be maybe teaching you, not teaching, showing you, for the one who are curious maybe, want to learn fast about keyboard, I'm going to be showing you the chords, the scale, uh, the notes, and the function of the tiles and also the symbols. So this is Do. This is Do. Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Uh, Do is called C, Re is called D, E, F, G, A, B, and C again until there, yeah. So now I'm going to show you about the distance in, uh, in every tiles or notes because this is very helpful even for me. I'm not a pro, okay? Uh, the distance between C and D is 1. Just refer, consider, is, is, consider the distance between C and D is 1. D and E is also 1. C and this, this tile, this note, is a half. This is called neither, either, I mean, either C sharp or D flat. I'm going to uh, explain to you about the symbols, which is later after I explain this. The distance between C and C sharp is a half. C, C sharp and D is also a half. D and D sharp is also a half. D sharp and E is also a half. But E and F, E, F, pff, uh, has also a half because there's no black tiles separating them. So one, so this is one, this is one, one and a half. F and F sharp has a half. Okay, may, uh, maybe you already know this. This is one, one, one and a half. Between B and C is also a half, same like this, because there's no black tile separating them. So now I'm going to show you about the chords. There are two types of chord, which is uh, major chords and minor chords. The most common chord, uh, a lot of people must know this, is chord C. The notes are C, E, and G. So in uh, usually in a chord, there are three notes. The C chord, C, E, and G. So it's played like this. This is C chord. Now, this chord is, the, uh, is a type of a major chord. And major chords and minor chords are different because the, uh, from how I know, the distance between the notes are different. So for major chords, the distance between three notes are different. The first note and the second note, which is C and E, has two. The distance is two, one and two. And the second note and the third note, E and G, has one and a half. This is a half and there's a one. So for major chords, all chords must be distance two and one and a half. That's a major chord pattern. Other major chords that I know is, and usually common, is chord G, which is G, B, and D. It's played like this. This is also two, one, two, and then G and B is has two distance. The, the, the distance between And before this video ends, I'm going to show you a song. I'm going to play a song uh, that includes a lot of chords that we have that I've showed you before. This the song is called Gymno PD Number One. I'm going to use this uh, the sound of harp, not piano, because I think it's prettier when I use the sound of harp than piano. So I'm going to start now. One, two, three. I'm sorry if it's not good though. for watching i hope this helps for you wants to learn a lot i mean like wants to learn wants to learn fast about keyboard bye